Hello everybody, welcome to my new tutorial series, which is all about SFML. In this first episode, I'm going to explain to you how to install SFML. But first, why do we need SFML? SFML is a library that we use to draw things onto the screen. SFML makes it really easy for us, which we know for sure because the name is Simple Fast Multimedia Library. And by the way, it's cross-platform. I'm not going to show you how to install it for Visual Studio. First things first, we need to download it. Where can we download it? Well, we can simply go to Google and type it in, SFML. Then we're going to go to the website, which is sfml-dev. Then we're going to go to download, SFML 2.4.0, and then I'm going to look for your compiler. I'm personally using Visual Studio 2015, which is Visual C++ 14. You know that it's the 2015 version because it says 2015 here. And now comes a little bit complicated part. You have this 32-bit download, and you have this 64-bit download. Which one should you get? Well, I recommend that you get a 32-bit one, since it's not about what your system is, it's about what you want to make the program for. So if you make it for 32-bit systems, you're going to reach more people. So we just hit download, it will download it for us. Then if we open it, you will see that it contains a folder, and in that folder you have all these different things. We don't have to worry about most of them. In fact, we can actually delete a few of them, which we're going to do later. The only ones that we really care about is bin, include, and lib. These three need to be there, otherwise we cannot make things with SFML. So now, the installation part. The first thing that we need to do is go to Visual Studio. Now that we're at Visual Studio, we need to go to File, New, Project, and then create a new Windows 32 console application, which I'm going to call SFML Tutorial. Then we just need to step through the installation wizard, select an empty project, because otherwise you're going to have the weird header. Okay, now that our project is created, it's time to go to the folder in which our project is located. An easy way to do that is by pressing the right mouse button on the project name and then click on Open Files and Folder. This will bring you to the root directory of the project. But where we want to be is inside of the solution itself. So we can simply go one folder up and now we're in the solution. Now we can want to go back to the SFML download that we just did and then copy, bin, include, and lib. Then we're going to make a new folder in here called SFML. And in here, we're just going to paste those three things. Okay, what we now want to do is go back to Visual Studio and right mouse click on the project. Then we need to go to Properties. And now we get this window. What do we need to do in here? The first thing that we need to do is click on the configuration thing and then go to All Configurations, because otherwise we're only going to modify things for whatever was selected, so debug or release. But we want to do it for all the configurations, so both for debug and release. The next thing that we need to do is go to Linker. Now what we want to do is go into additional library directories, press the arrow down, hit edit, and then double click on here, and then this little bar will open up. What we want to do right now is press the triple dots right there. That will open a file explorer, and then what we want to do is only go to the folder that we just created with SFML, and then click on the lib folder, and then simply hit select folder, and OK, and then hit apply. Now the next thing that we want to do is we're going to go to input. And in input, you're going to have this additional dependencies thing. What we want to do is we want to open it and hit edit. We don't want to type directly into that bar because all of those different things are necessary for creating a project. We want to modify some things in here. For SFML, we need to include five different libraries. And they all have the same prefix and they all have the same end. So we're just going to type that first and then fill them in later. So what we're going to type in is sfml-lib. And now we're just going to copy this and paste it five times on new lines. After we've done that, we need to specify the different things that we need to link to. The first thing that we need to link to is called system. The second thing is going to be graphics. The third thing is going to be audio. The fourth thing is going to be network. And the last thing is going to be window. Then we simply hit OK and press apply. Well, the one thing that we need to change is if we go to the SFML homepage, go to Learn, and check the tutorial that they made for Visual Studio, then you will see, if you scroll all the way down, uh, is that you have to link it differently for debug mode. As you'll see right here, it's important to link the libraries that match the configuration. SFML-XXX.D, uh, that lib for debug, and SFML-XXX.lib for release. So what we need to do in here is now switch to debug mode, hit edit, and then simply add a dash D after all of them. 
After we've done that, it's time to hit apply and hit OK. There's one more thing that we need to do, but before we can do that, we need to add some code. So we're just going to go to source files, add new item, a cpp file, so our main file. Now that our main file is created, it's time to go back to the properties. And what you will see is that an extra tab has appeared called C-C++. If you click on that, you will see that the first thing will say additional include directories. If you go back to the SFML folder that we have created, you will see that there's also a folder called include. What we need to do is we need to link to that folder too, just the same way that we did to the lib folder. So we're going to arrow, edit, double click on it, open it with triple dots, go to the correct folder, and then select include. And then apply. But make sure that you do it for both debug and release. I just forgot to switch to all configurations, and that's really unhandy because now I haven't done it for release. So now I need to go specifically to release and do it again. Okay, now I've also done it for release. It's time to actually test it out by typing some code. So the first thing that we need to do is actually include SFML. So the way that we do that, we should just simply type in pound include the smaller than bigger than SFML. As you'll see, a folder will appear. This folder corresponds to the folder inside of the include folder. So this is a female folder. Everything that's in here, we can include using the smaller than and bigger than. So we type in SFML slash graphics that HPP, which is basically the same as a header file, but just under a different name. And then we want to create a main loop, int main return zero. In this tutorial, I'm not going to explain to you what all the code does. I'm just going to show you how to quickly test if it's working. And the way that we're going to do that is we go to the SFML site, back to the tutorial, and then all the way down here, they've created this little example. So we're just going to copy all the code in here and paste it. And now if you run the program, you will see that an error has appeared. It says the program can start because SFML-system-d-2.dll is missing. That's because SFML needs a few more things before it can run. But those things need to be in the folder whether that exe is. If you go back to the SFML folder that we've created, you will see there is also a folder called bin. If we open bin, in here we'll have all the different DLLs that I was complaining about. So what we simply do is we're going to select everything with a D, since we're making a debug version right now, and open all 32. And then you simply copy it and paste it in a debug folder. Now if we run it again, you will see that a tiny window appeared. And this window, if SFML is installed correctly, will show a green circle. So now that you know that SFML is working, it's time to actually get into the code. And I will do that in the next episode. So be prepared.